Friends outside here from our St. Joseph's Candler, Pula Parkway Sky Cam with a good deal of some sunshine. And we're going to keep with that mix of sun and clouds with dry weather, it looks like, for the rest of our Tuesday uh, afternoon into our evening hours. Warm temperatures adds as well out there. Yeah, there should be a space between warm and temps, but there's some will set still at 744 coming up this evening. So as we take you hour by hour, temperatures are still going to be holding into the 80s on average through that 8 o'clock hour. Then we slowly fall back into the 70s. We're going to keep a little bit more of that east northeasterly wind as well, even for the overnight, uh, generally 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures in the mid 70s at midnight. We're in the low 70s here along the coast when you wake up on your Wednesday morning, but inland areas could be back into the mid 60s. It looks like so a little cooler weather today. We topped out at 87, two degrees below the average for this time of the year, but we were a little bit above average this morning as a cold front continued to move through the area and didn't see any rain across the region uh, for today, officially at the airport at least, and we're dry now. On our fair and fair first alert live radar, we can see quiet conditions for the region. Temperatures for the most part into the middle 80s, ranging from 80 on Sapelo Island in Brunswick up to 88 over in Buford, but we're still only 85 in Rankin, Metter, Statesboro. You're at 84 degrees with that northeasterly wind sustained right now at 15 in Buford. 14 Savannah, Brunswick, you're sustained at 16. We had gusts today, 25 to 30 plus miles per hour along the beach areas, and we are going to keep it a little breezy out there for the evening. Notice the clouds breaking up a little bit, especially north of I-16, and we haven't seen much way of any precipitation across the area, and we're going to keep it warm and dry as that front of boundary remains stationary down to the south of us tomorrow. That'll keep our temperatures below average and keep our rain chances on the low side uh, tomorrow that rain chance only about 10 to 20%. So at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, there's the low 70s along the coast, but mid to upper 60s for a lot of our inland areas. If you're working outside tomorrow at that 8 o'clock hour, few clouds, 71 on average by 8 o'clock. It'll be dry as we go on through noontime with that mix of sun and clouds. We'll see a 10% chance for a shower. Temperatures right about 80 by that 5 o'clock time frame. Still that mix of sun and clouds, 83 with that rain chance at about 20% and still that northeasterly wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So we're going to keep that small cap advisory for tomorrow through the evening hours. By Thursday, though, those northeast winds will be down just a bit, 15 to 20 knots. So no advisories as of right now with seas down to three to four feet. There's your highs tomorrow back in the middle 80s, a little bit below average, and that'll be the story in that first alert. Seven day forecast below average temperatures, better rain chances returning Friday and into our Saturday with those scattered showers across the region, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm. We dry things out more later Sunday, and especially by the beginning of next week, it looks like we'll have some pretty quiet weather with temps still in the mid 80s.